Hey everyone, so I thought I would talk about a pretty, it's a fairly recent incident that took place actually in Madison Square Garden and that is the whole Igor Shesterkin uh, trolling incident and just kind of wanted to talk about how the New York Rangers have just been the Penguins kryptonite. I mean, I don't know how else to put it, that's just how it's been. And for me, I mean, I watched a lot of the game in March uh, between the two teams. So there was a the game that, I mean, they lost brutally in, and then that game against the Red Wings that happened. And then the other game against the Rangers in March uh, took place afterwards. And so the first game that I actually watched, watched a good part of it before I just couldn't take it anymore, was the 5-1 loss against the Rangers. And the Penguins actually won their first game against the Rangers in December, which is, it's just a really weird schedule. The first uh, matchup in March, oh my gosh, I remember watching it and it was just nuts how the Rangers just got a jump on the Penguins. And I mean, before you blinked, basically it was three nothing and some crazy stuff happened. I mean, Chari got pulled and then De Smith, like he had an unfortunate uh, collision with Brian Dumoulin and then he, he fell into the post and that was unfortunate so it was really weird because Jari got pulled and then DeSmith went in and then DeSmith had to leave because of you know he got injured he got shaken up so Jari had to go back in after surrendering at that point he surrendered four goals so I quit watching after I think after just Jari went back in so probably probably halfway into the second or so and then I, I missed the next the next game but Penguins still lost obviously two to three so it was a more close game than five to one but even still so this last game the third well I mean four four game series this season but third out of the losing streak that the Penguins have had against the Rangers. So um, Penguins have lost their last three against them. It was a really bad loss as in, I mean, they got shut out. The Penguins got shut out and they didn't have Sidney Crosby. They didn't have John Marino, but still to get shut out like that, it's not a good look, especially, I mean, this team could be our opponent in the playoffs. So it's not something that you want to see as a Penguins fan for sure, but what really stole the headlines as far as uh, the controversial moment out of it all was when Igor Shesterkin decided, I mean, after he got a shutout to blatantly troll the Penguins team. So I saw the clip circulating on Twitter and I was just like, oh my gosh, I got to check this out. So you could see Shesterkin just kind of, after it was after a big scrum took place. So there was a, a get together afterwards, but this was after everything kind of cleared up and, and they were making their way to center ice to kind of wave at the fans or, or salute the fans or whatever. But but you could just see him with his with his blocker like, like this, like, you know, go ahead, talk, go ahead, chirp me. And then um, he decided to kind of wave you know, wave by, and I actually looked really closely. He was like, kind of blowing kisses and just completely trolling the penguins. And I think it's funny, you know, it is. It's funny, just to kind of laugh about it. Just, but it also sets up a real, uh, a real rivalry there. So I hope that i mean if uh if the penguins do match up against the rangers that they can really get some shots in on shesterkin and kind of turn the tide but i mean we'll see and the thing is i mean he's such a good goalie that i mean you know that he's a goalie that can kind of do that and, and kind of get away with it because he's been so good this season and not very often i, I that you really see a goalie trolling like that i i don't think i've seen it so i just i thought it was funny Actually, you know what, when I think about it, speaking of that, I'm thinking of Henrik Lundqvist, actually. He was a goalie that would troll. I, I'm thinking about that now because some things, like I remember with Sidney Crosby in the water bottle and him like squirting Crosby when he uh, skated by, and, and there were just a few other things that he did throughout his career. They were comical and they were funny, but at the same time, you're just like, you knew like this guy could, could really uh, troll somebody really get under their skin and 
he could also kind of just get his wires crossed, but great goalie and, and very deserving to have his uh, jersey hung up there at MSG. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to upload consistent content and sometimes more than once a day, but definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed and like this video and stick around for more.